Hi, I'm Chris Benham for Digital Trends. With GPS units all starting to look awfully similar in recent years, manufacturers have started piling on extra features to make their units stand out. This budget unit from Nexstar, the i4BC, adds a media player, text-to-speech capabilities, and a backup camera, all for $260 US. But as we found out, sometimes the old cliches about you get what you pay for, hold true. Though it's a lower end unit, the actual nav unit didn't feel too cheap to us. And we actually liked its 4.3 inch touchscreen, which was bright and viewable in most conditions. The accessories, however, were another story. This mount was one of the most overly complicated and perplexing we've ever used. While other manufacturers seem to have figured out how to use a single ball joint for swiveling, Nexstar's took significant effort to mount, and it never quite reached the angle we needed. Even worse, it feels cheap, squeaks when you move it, and bobs around when you go over bumps. Other aspects of the unit also reeked of cheapness. Turning up the speaker loud enough to hear it at 70 miles per hour made it sound awful. Not only was it painful on the ears, we could barely make out what the unit was saying. This rendered an otherwise neat feature, the text-to-speech capability, nearly useless. Although we found the backup camera usable, installation was a major headache, since the camera needs to be wired into the reverse lights of your car. It's a clever solution to make it turn on when you put the car in reverse, but you probably won't want to attempt it unless you have the electrical skills to know what you're doing and the patience to route the wires. The bottom line, this unit works. Just not very well. I mean, we were aggravated with the navigation system, unimpressed with the backup camera, and in general found ourselves wishing we had a different GPS whenever we had to get somewhere important. Now, while all of these extra features might sound good, we think you'd be better off buying a better GPS unit with fewer features for the same price. I'm Chris Benham for Digital Trends. Thanks for watching.